Hello for my Flapless here and welcome back to Amelusion, an Umeniki fan game which has been released quite recently as of May 2019. But let's, but let's look through some of these other worlds and see what we can find. Hopefully anyways. Traffic lights, that's the first thing that we see. But is there anything else in this world? And is there anything within the worlds which we've already been in which we've missed? Who knows? But what I can say is, ah, they're different. They're definitely different. Definitely different lights. Um, haven't seen these ones before. Seem different, but it seemed like, I don't know, it'd be one of those passageways where the level would change if you go through it. Wouldn't it be? If you saw something like that, it just seems a bit too coincidental. We're back. Okay, let's not do that then. <laughs> just go back to where we came from, for goodness sakes. And either of those plants within the next is uh, any sort of um, connecting world when you interact with them. Let's see what we can find while we're here. Unless it's just those few things and then Hmm, a little bit of a waste, if you ask me. Anything else here? While we're here, there's another one. Unless it's the same one. I recognize, actually, it's an amber one. Just amber and nothing else. Red, amber, green. Amber, red. Let's see, hmm, this one again. But it does go from green to red quite slowly. So does that mean anything when it comes to interacting with things within the game? Like sometimes you can interact with something, and other other times you can't. What? Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Okay, so that's a thing. Oh, it's one of these scenarios where it's literally a labyrinth. We have no idea where we're going. And we get different soundtracks to go with it. Make our way through this lab. Quite randomized sound effects, but very unique in themselves. Where are you, item that increases movement speed? Where are you? I'm sure Danny would always... Danay? Dananay? Still don't know how to pronounce the protagonist's name properly. And we got ourselves the mad key. Ah, <laughs> something escaped from the asylum. Wah! Golly! Okay, so you definitely did escape from some sort of asylum for, uh, asylum, for goodness sakes. You are definitely what you would call mad. I wouldn't want to approach this person now in a hurry. In fact, I would run away in a hurry. Never ever interact with someone who um, has hair that's sprouting out like this. I bet will be got shocked by something. Meow. Meow. What about these ones? Different. Although it is nice to have a particular sound play when you go to a um, particular uh, pad. Teleporter pad. Teleporter uh, thing. So we know kind of where you're going if you know the sound itself. Do, do, doorbell. No idea what that was. Walking sound. Mm, revolving door sound. <laughs> Sounds like Psyduck or something like that. Pig. Just a musical track. Ah, uh, this maze is a lot bigger than we would realize. 
Now I need to find a way to get out before I do become mad like this thing. So the most difficult thing here is not finding the item, but finding the way to escape. Hmm. Which would be the way, though? Why? You want to say something, bud? Hmm, we seem to be keep going around in circles. I love circles, me. I really do love circles. That one seemed familiar. No, that wasn't the one. It was this one over here. <laughs> and then... God, what is it with bees? Like... What the... Lots of unfamiliar sounds. These are ostriches, but some of them have their heads out and other ones don't. Some of them have their heads stuck in the ground. Mm, the revolving door one again. Again with the Psyduck. I haven't heard that one before. Or that one, maybe. Heard of that one before. Where do we go from here? I'm officially lost. Okay. That's creepy. I want you to just go as far away from me as you can. Thank you very much. We've been here before. That's how we got the item. <laughs> Which way do I go? No, that's the way I came. Which way do I go? These are very frustrating places. You know what? We'll just wake up. I think we'll get there quicker if we just... Ah, you woke up quite frantically. And while we're here, we're going to do a... Um... Okay, we're going to have to use two hands for this one. <laughs> Want to make sure a character faces the top left and the other one's a save. Wonderful. Now our next journey, obviously, is to discover more items. So, we'll be back when we discover something new. A long road to success. Well, obviously, the longer it is and you succeed in it, the more worthwhile it is because you've earned it. Just like those uh, traffic lights were also quite tall. Okay, there's another set of traffic lights which I'm not familiar with. Uh, these are the ones that you usually see like in America. I believe anyways. Oh, there's a bench here too. Lovely. No. We can't wear our effect while sitting down. That's a bit of a little, 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 little shame, but it doesn't matter because, well, we are enjoying the adventures of this game. Even though my emotions and expressions may not seem like it, but I am deep in my heart. As with any Umaniki fan game, it has a lot of effort poured into it to make it look this nice. I can say that about most Umaniki fan games because... 2000 and 2003 RPG Maker Engine ones where um, you initially have to um, make each like pixel of every character by hand along with the backgrounds as well. You have to do that as well manually. Um, uh, pixel art, not by hand, by digital or however you want to do it for yourselves and whichever way works. I am no programmer or no artist myself. You can't really consider thumbnail editing as artistic. You're taking existing stuff and just manipulating it so that it fits your desires as a content creator. Okay, we're here again. So what else can we find if we go up and then go another way? I don't know, but we're, we're back here. 
don't tell me that's the only place that we can go to at that point in time, because that would be just a little bit cheesy. Oh, eat me into this world. Um, don't laugh at me. We can't see in that world. One time we couldn't see all of another particular world, but this one we really, that one we really couldn't see. But the background reminds me of Mitsuki, you know, the um, the clothing style of the protagonist in that game. Really nice. Really cool. But then again, if it wasn't even a bit, right, if Mitsuki wasn't even a thing, this would be still cool on its own, so. Definitely that. An Easter world, it looks like. But then again, there are also eyes looking at you. Mm. Eggs. A shattered egg. Shattered hearts. A shattered chicken mother's heart. Mm. I love itches. I like it when I get itchy during a playthrough. It only happens when I am actually doing a let's play, having an itchy nose or an itchy um, mouth. Does this go somewhere? Um, hello? Are we unveiling the entire world? Because that would probably be what it is, and that's the way back, I would believe. Oh god, this is going to take a while if this is what's going to be. We're going to have to unravel this entire world from white to black. But then again, we are getting colours though, aren't we? Unless they all mean something. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have to do this in order to get to where we need to go. See you all in a sex, unless something new happens. Oh, there's another one that's brown. Okay. Don't know what that means, though. But this changes every time we go over it. I'm just realizing it now. Rewriting these events, how we go along. Oh, for goodness sakes. Are you serious? What is the mystery behind this world? Like, there's nothing to go along here. It's just filled with random colours. I thought we had to do something like a decipher or something like that when it comes to, like, the first... We're not getting any results from this. I can just tell. This is just a nightmare filled with colours. Mad with colours. That's what we're going to be calling this particular episode. Look at all these. These wonderful colours. We have no idea what we're doing. Look at all these. Look at everything that we're doing. Are we making a picture? No. Are we making a mess? Yes, we are. Look at all this. Look at every single one of these concoctions that we call masterful attacks. Art attack. Oh, wasn't that a show? Back in the day. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose is behind this world, but there must be some sort of law behind why this world is the way it is and why colours can be manipulated this easily like this. Like I literally thought that each like um the first tile that you spawn in, the um I thought that the only tiles that would change into a colour would be the vertical tiles on the first, like... Anyways. The first vertical tile that you spawn on, that's the only one that would change if you go up. That's what I was thinking. But that's not going to be the case at all. For goodness sakes, what have I put my shelf in dough? Oh. <sighs> I don't think we're yielding any results by just doing all of this, literally. I think this was an experimental world that should not have been within this build until it was completed. Oh, we still got a few more things. You know what? Nah. This is good enough for me. Don't laugh at me, fool. What have I done to you? 
unless there's something incredibly hidden within one of these tiles. Or maybe if obje the objective is just to get all of the white tiles into something that's not um, uh, black or white. Maybe every single tile has to be with a color. Maybe that's the objective behind all of this. It's not... Um, uh, not uh, it doesn't matter what color it is as long as it's actually a color without being black or white. I don't know. I know there's only a finite amount of spaces here. But unfortunately, I do not like the idea of just going through this entire world, being perplexed by nature of what is a game, and to get ourselves stuck within this reality, looping ourselves over and over again, just so that we will be able to complete this without <laughs> losing our minds. I know I'm just saying random stuff, but at this point in time, I have nothing else to... Say or do? I have no idea. I don't even know why we're continuing to do this, but I'm persisting just so that we may be able to get something. But then again, that something may not even appear with all this happening. Like, what is the purpose behind this scenario? It would be incredibly difficult to get the entire screen with one specific color. I mean, we started out with white, but like. <sighs> I don't know. I'm, why am I still doing this? I have no idea why I'm still doing this. Like, I am just wasting my own time. I know I am, but I just want to see if any results yield if we do something, even if it's just completely random, like trying to see... Oh, for goodness sakes. Land up as a color, please. Damn it, again with that. Everywhere we go is like that. Uh, I am getting a bit, little bit angry now. Ah, uh, uh, you know what? We'll just. Uh, I'm sorry for wasting everyone's time with that, but unfortunately, that's just not going to be the way. In which... Is it darker in here than usual? I feel like there should be a light source on. Like, I thought it was brighter than this. I swear it's been lighter in here. What's going on? The outside is different. Unless it's always been like this. I don't remember it being like this. Not even the light uh, is helping. Hmm. Put that back. Yeah, it's locked. What's today's meal? A lot of stuff. How bizarre. Hmm. I'm very curious, because it was not always that dark in there. What if we wake up again? Oh, did I miss out on something while it was dark in there? Oh. Uh, imagine I missed out on something big, but because I woke up, that means it reset itself. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was always like this, wasn't it? I believe. I thought there was a different background to this. Maybe I'm just hallucinating again. Mm. Maybe the backgrounds vary on uh, how many abilities you picked up, or in this case, keys. I don't know. See if there's anything else within this um, traffic world and see where we can go from there, aside to these. Blah, blah, blah. So it'll be a great hard one that will take us back to our world. Lovely. Ooh, 
hello, here's something new, a little placey place to go through that would be like an underground passageway. Mm -hmm. A bicycle? Can I take the bicycle please? It would be very, very handy to use as a means of going from one place to another more quickly. More quickly than just on foot. Anything here? The lighting changes randomly. Stop buffing outside, please, doggies. Okay, what's over this way then? This would be the most obvious thing to spot first. Nothing there, okay. Then what else is within here? A finite amount of space, that's for sure. Excuse me. Can't go this way unless there's a specific tile. Oh, it's indicated by these shadows uh, below here. Like you can just see about that, that that some of the tiles are darker than the others. That's where we can go. So we have these two. No, one door maybe. There's a fence over here. This could be school for all we know actually. Go in, there's a chest here of sorts, nothing. Might not even be a chest, it could be a church. It could be something. <laughs> Where exactly are we? Oh, this is another kind of maze, isn't it? We're on a train track. What is that reminiscent of? Oh, what's happened over here? I forgot we're not with our mad one, you know. Oh, now what's going on? Maybe... Hmm, we use the mad effect when it came to um, waking up. So like, when we woke up one time by pinching our... Well, not pinching our cheeks, but we had the mad effect equipped. So I wonder if that has something to do with the lighting inside the bedroom when you wake up. That could be something, but maybe I'm just imagining it, okay? Just like many things, I could just be imagining it. A long road to our right. Right, see who then? Oh! That's a secret passageway. I thought there was something secretive when I looked at that. Oh, is that cherry blossoms? wonderful petals definitely a Japanese environment especially with the style of these lakes or ponds lakes are bigger than that flare you should know that gosh gosh me why did you say that me dear me why are you so silly to me from me <laughs> I'm still naming it mad with colors though very very mad with colors And the music's even Japanese as well. Or it sounds Japanese. Ah, oh, hello. I hope you're doing well, little one. I hope my demonic appearance isn't... Okay, so you're not a frightened soul. That's fine by me. The less frightened souls, the better. Because, frankly, I don't fancy being sent to another realm. Hmm. Hmm. What can we do while we're in here? Turn the TV on. Unless there's no way to turn the TV on. Surely there's something we can do in here while we are in here. It just seems like a dead end, really. With no... With no interactive purpose. Nope. What is the secret of this room? Room? From room to room. Uh, there's nothing around the futon. And there's nothing around the table as well. Look at these. 
So maybe these are sliding doors. But it doesn't look like there's any indication that these do slide. Right. I've pretty much covered every single tile here, and there's nothing to go by. So we will just move on with our lives. Oh, what about this? Anything behind here, actually? Hmm. Any secrets behind here? Nope, there's no secrets when you go around the back. Hold on, let's try vertically. Ah, oh, I thought there would be something secretive if we go behind the house. Darn it. But I imagine you hold a little bit of a secret, don't you, Raccoon Girl? Unless you're something else. You definitely do look like a raccoon. Nothing going on here. Surely that would have been something, but maybe we don't have the right key to be able to interact with what it is that we need to do. Um, a very special feline. <laughs> I remember. I forgot they made that noise. Oh, yeah. What about just being a nail? Uh, what about... No, what, yeah. What about just being a screw? Good for being stealthy and all that. Hmm. Nothing else. Interacts with us if we interact with it, but it doesn't say anything. It just does that. Even the most hardest of titaniums won't be able to withstand this screw. Because we are not screwing about. That's a rock there. Oh, that house has got to have something in it, but we just don't have the right effect or the right key in this case to be able to do what it is that we need to do while we're there. Okay, Prontos? I think okay, Prontos. Hmm. Feels like there should be something within these um, places. But alas, there isn't at this point in time. Hmm. Not on the high road. Let's see what we can do when we get back up here, then. Hmm. Okay, so we've discovered that it is a train station. That we can tell. Okay, so it's a pretty small station. Hmm. Okay, so we can't go this way on the platform. We can go down from the right side. Okay, I think we're pretty much done f at this moment within the um, for world for which you enter from the bottom right. Yeah, we can't wake up while being a screw. What about as a, a special feline? Boink. So, okay, so it's bright. Hmm... No changes. Mad. So it doesn't pinch its cheek, it just... Oh. Laugh again. Then wake up. Jump and then just does that. Okay. It definitely was dark in here, though. You saw earlier in the episode that it was dark in here. Mm. Oh, sushi that time. Lovely. Hmm. I wonder if it had to do something with that place where we uh, can um, uh, change the color of the flooring. But this is different. Hi. Different. Escape. Yeah, escape from it, please. Definitely had different ones that time around. Hmm. Can't do anything there. Sofa. 
You don't want to sit on the sofa. Okay. Maybe because it's torn. That's why. Oh. Yeah, but the background was blue last time. Now it's returned to its original state. Hmm. Very curious. Very curious indeed. Let's move on. I want to try something, but I'll do that in my own time just to see um, what we can do. Because it may take a huge amount of time to try and pull off. Okay, so that's the color world. This would be a tricky scenario, but I wonder if we would have to replicate this world into the other world on the other side, unless it would just be referring these few tiles along here, like it wouldn't matter what colours the other ones were as long as the adjacent ones were plain without a colour. That could be the case, but oh, that would take too much time to just move around and do something like that. But it's a theory. I don't know if it would work or not. But it's something that would take up a huge amount of time. Let's move on. Oh, there's another little orby orb there. This time it's a red orby orb. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling them orby orbs. Orby orbs. Wonderful. Orbs. On the say uh, infinity stones for the uh, gauntlet. The gauntlet which well pretty much gives you huge power. That's all I can say about it really. Huge power. Power that no mortal should ever be able to have. Or any immortal. Frankly it shouldn't be one period. Uh <sighs> Talk about genocide to its highest level. Okay, let's move on from Avengers and back into Amlusion. Still loving it though. Still loving the mystery behind what orbits around this particular dreamer's imaginations by imagining everything here. But if it's been woven like this, like the background, then does it mean that this character has dreamed or even met the protagonist Umituki, of Umituki, sorry? Maybe. Maybe not. But nothing is ever impossible. Nothing. You imagine it, and sometime down the line, doesn't matter how many years it will take, or centuries, or whatever other numbers will be like, no, doesn't matter how many millennia it will take, it will be possible someday, one day, something day. Oh, this is getting a little manic right about now. But I'm still thinking that our vision while being dark has to mean something. Like we woke up and it was different, it was dark. It wasn't bright like it usually was. So I'm just wondering if it has something to do with that world. Like, it's... It's... Even though the room itself doesn't have anything, it would... It could potentially lead somewhere, which then... Oh, these are fuzzy, actually. Never seen these ones before. Distorted ones. What do you mean, my friends? Yin Yang. Definitely is a yin yang symbol. Or, sorry, the yin yang symbol. Uh, it seems like there's only two possible doors here. One back to the nexus and one for the colorless place. Yeah, because it was here and then just, just down here somewhere as was the world because you had to find the broken egg. I wonder. But this blank world, which reminds me of Super Paper Mario from Wonderful Worlds, where it was completely destroyed. 
Hmm. This could be the easiest way. Just go round in a square all the time, like a spiral. We'll see what happens when that happens, okay? I can see the other end of the darkness. We'll be there soon unless we get cut off halfway through because of the darkness. That could be a thing, actually. And we'll be terribly screwed over. Because at the moment, it feels like that it's longer than it is taller. So in that case, when we get to the other end, then we'd have to work our way up and down. Rather than, um, in a square sort of way. But we'll go for as long as we can. As long as we're able to do so. Okay. Actually, it's impossible to muck it up because you're going to go wonderful ways anyway. So, it's all good. It's all very good in the neighbourhood. Unless we screw this up. We haven't screwed it up before. And I'm hopefully not going to be able to screw it up now. Please. Pretty please. La <laughs> Lovely. Oh, we're almost there. Kind of. Not really. Okay, the next rotation round will be the one which will change. So, almost. Oh, one more time. One more time. Now, we definitely can't see the other end. So, when we go here... We will then go vertically. So we go to the end of this tunnel here. And then we will go up. And then once we meet it, then we go one to the left. Good. Oh, we can see it. We can see it. We are almost there, folks. We are almost there. We are about to make this completely white screen completely black. Golly, golly, gosh. Hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get something out of this. If not, then the only other step I can think of is then to transform this entire place into colours. Rather than being from completely bright to completely dark. Maybe. Could be. These events are always going to be very, very secretive and hidden. Only the very, 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 very patient and try and error sort of players who just spend hours and hours and hours just trying different stuff out will be able to unlock all the secrets of these particular games. Which I'm not one of them, actually. I just want to be able to experience as much as I can in as little time as possible. <laughs> I know that sounds lazy, but I am a less player. So, what will happen once we get to the end of the road? Nothing. Yeah, that's kind of laughing at my own silliness. Okay. What can we do now? We've turned the screen completely dark from light, so maybe we're going to have to do the same again, but now transforming everything into colours. Surely this place has secrets. Last cop. I ruined it. <laughs> Oh no, I ruined it. I didn't mean to do that. For goodness sakes, all that time. That could have been the very thing that I needed to keep. Nothing happened. Even that. Oh, even rectifying it won't make a difference. <laughs> I filled this entire place up. It took like about 10 minutes to do this. <laughs> I deserve to be laughed at for wasting my own time by doing this. Ugh. 
and it's not even dark. That's the problem. It's, I think it's random. It has to be randomly do, randomly done. Hey, we can sit on there. Yeah, it has to be random. It can't be anything to do with um. Can't do any anything with events. It's entirely randomized. Oh, it feels like we've just wasted our time in there. That world serves no purpose. Right, let's move on with our lives and hopefully we'll be able to come up with something more efficient within the next Nexus world. I wish this place was blue then. Okay. So one, the only one we have not yet... Oh, there's a few more up here. I literally thought that was it. Go into the wardrobe. Hmm. Bench. Carrots. Portal. Ah. This is a big place. A very big place. I hope you will. TB. All of your assortments that you need. Oh, sit down there. Nothing else. Let's go somewhere else then. Oh, now we're outside. This is like some sort of dystopian world. A horrible order is in place and there's nothing that we can do to stop them. Can't look at the front of these because they're locked off by carrots. Who the funk? What? I definitely don't remember coming out here. What's going on? This was not the way I came from. I knew I came from somewhere else. Fine, let's go outside again and see what's going on. What is it with this? This is not where I entered. Maybe here? Oh, okay. That I can understand. But I don't know which order these things go in. They're in a set order. Oh, I don't know if we moved rows though. That's the problem. And who owns these two beds? Do one of these worms own a bed and a uh, Mrs. Worm or Mr. Worm? Bloody hell. Hello? Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I was searching between blah 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 and blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Uh, what else is there? Blip, blip, blip. Ah, this is what we started in. Okay. Lovely. Not that one. What about you? Hello? Can we do anything? Can we take your headset, please? Or create a replica of... Actually, creating a replica of the headsets would be better than just simply taking that one's ones. What kind of stuff would it have on it? Hello? Buzzle. 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 Hello there. Do any of these contain a secret? Why is there so many of them? Surely one of them has to have something secretive involved. Maybe not. Maybe we're just interacting with stuff and it's not providing us with any successes. We've got mad. That's our only key that we've acquired so far within this episode. Hmm. What else is there? Um, hello? <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me, okay? I can only suffer with so many laughs from you at a time, dear protagonist, dear dreamer, dream, dear dreamer. Hmm, plants in here, and there's a certain amount of styles to a plant, a certain amount of breeds to a plant itself. Ah, that's where we came from. Hello? Are you trying to call for somebody? Hmm. Each of these have different gardens to them. I can appreciate that. 
Hmm, the other way is not have gardens to them. There's a blob there. No, it's a... What do I mean? It's a pear. Not a blob. It's a pear. Not a pear of, just the fruit pear. P-E-A-R, not P-A-I-R. Okay. What's down here? Surely one of these must contain something. This bar's on the table? No. The person who's in bed. Are you okay? Oh, we can't even get to there unless we go around. Okay. You are asleep. Therefore, we shall leave you asleep. This seems a bit different from the rest. This, this place definitely does seem different. There's lots of whispering going on. Hmm. Something seems unique about that room in comparison to the others. Hmm. I think something was here. Let me get to the bottom of this. Seems we can't. Ooh. We hear the whisperings while we're within the mad effect. I wonder if one of these is something unique. It could just be auditory. But there definitely is something to it. Gotta be something to it. There has to be something to it. I don't know what I need to do. Trial and error. Yes, yeah, definitely when we only have the mad item equipped, which is when those whispers come into play. Hello? Stuff over here. Hmm. What do you guys think? What do you think I should try next? Should have been more keys than just what we have. Oh, a television here. Still nothing though. Hmm. That rug seemed unique as well, so I'm a little disheartened that there's nothing going on. But then again, this is not the final version of the game, so stuff might still be implemented in areas which we don't realise. Excuse me. Oh hello, Death. Literally, that is death. Same character. Same character. Same character. Okay, the heads don't seem to be any different any time, any place, anywhere. Screw to the into the middle of the rug. Nope. Different plants here. Nothing else at this point in time. Keep the mad effect on. Hmm. 
Hey, you can fly up there. Can I come join you? I want to join you. Hmm, another vase here. Oh. Unless this is just for visual purposes. Can you come down at some point? I want to be able to interact with you at some point. Don't go up. Go Come down, please. Down. Down. Down, please. I want to see if you can give me a key, little one. Don't go up. Please come down. Yes, that's it. No. No, please come back up. Down. Down. No, not up. Not sideways. Down. Come on. Oh, you are frustrating. Come on. Oh, my. I missed my ch Oh, it's, I can't even interact with it. It's it's in the air. It's, it's a layer above me. So that's just fun, isn't it? It's very fun. Very fun. Incredibly fun. Uh, we can't do anything with that then. What are you doing in the sink? Hmm. Who would put a sofa out here anyways? Whose idea would it be to put a sofa out in this toxic place? Don't do this to me again. <laughs> uh, change the sceneries again, have you? Oh, uh, what do you want from me? Hmm. There's got to be something to this. Like, all these switches. All these switching. All of this switching around. So let's sit down again. No, that doesn't change. It only does it once. Unless... Oh, it's a different part of it. That's got blue tile to it, so there's different apartments. Oh. I like that. Which means we can discover even more places now. Hi, vet. Meow. Wait, we do have a, a cat item. Although we're a very special feel, I reckon. Shout, oh yeah. Hmm. What's up here? I want to just... I want to look through all of these doors before I decide to call it quits. Because this is... Very interesting, all of these apartment doors. Hmm. Wait. Hold on. You seem very familiar. We didn't go to another side, we just... Maybe... Maybe not. I'd like to think... Hmm, maybe we didn't. These places are starting to look familiar. Hi. Hello. I thought we was onto something, but we're not. I thought at the off chance that going for a particular route would get you to another set of the apartments. Hello. That's a sheep. It's a sheep with a plant on top of it. Don't tell me that plant is sapping the life out of that sheep. Gosh, just like Advanced Wars Days of Ruin. Ah, we recognize this place. Uh, 
there's nothing else to this and there's nothing we can do while we're over here. Hmm. But still, these tiles seem a bit peculiar. Two little purple tiles. Just doing nothing. Sunflower. Oh, we got a menu. Lovely. We accomplished something out of all this and we got ourselves a new menu screen. Hello, colors. Different colors. And this is the most aggressive one. Oh. Different little species you are. Hope you're doing well in your little room. Oh, hello. Oh, this is a door. Emergency door. Hi. Now I'm curious. Where does this go? I tell you where this is going to go. We're going to wake up soon. Not by choice, but by the events in which will transpire throughout the game. It looks like we're orbiting around a great big mecha boss. That's what it is. It's a mecha boss. See, look at that. It's a gigantic mecha boss in the middle of the battlefield. I'm just making up stuff now. <laughs> oh, I feel exhausted after this episode. I'm not going to lie. I'm still enjoying it, but very exhausting. Just trying to go around and see what we can find and stuff like that. It's all very, very interesting. We came from that way, so we don't want to repeat ourselves, even though we are just doing that right now. Hmm. Contaminated that way. We gotta get to the contaminated though. Not there. Maybe this way. Can't go up there. Oh, yeah, we can't go up there. We need to find another way round. Right, tell you then. We shall make our way upwards then. Because there's literally nowhere which we can go here. No, nothing. We can't even jump, which is something I just remembered. But there are some places in the game which we can actually jump on. Jump from. To and from. Jump from here to there. Hmm. So this is where we would go. Okay, we can't jump down. So imagine we are higher up. Altitude. Oh no, there's another gigantic mecha robot thing. What are we to do, folks? I don't know. Different tiles with different colours on them. Hi there. I hope you're doing well. You don't do anything fine. Ugh, our interactions will change once we find a weapon in this game. Nothing there. Gosh. I want to find something aside a menu and one key. Is there anything else which we can uncover during this episode? It won't be long before I end this recording, but... I just want to see if there's anything else which we can do while we're here. My eyes are very strained. My tiredness is very high. My energy levels are very low. But my determination will beat for all that. Because I'm determined, okay? That's why. Hmm. Up this way, maybe? Ah, oh, this is the radioactivity-ness. Ooh. I don't think we should be here. Are we fading, actually? We are definitely fading. Which may mean we'll wake up soon. Yeah, you're laughing now. 
radioactive. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Stay in here long enough and we'll be immune to the effect. Don't push with Barden. What Barden are you referring to? What Barden? I don't know what you're talking about because we just grew an eye. Hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well. You tell us not to push a button, but here we are. Okay, folks. Boink, while we're radioactive. And now it's sort of hazy. What's going on? Okay, folks. This is where we're going to leave things off with Emlusion. If there's, oh yeah, there's a few more worlds which we need to go to, but there's not really a huge amount that I've discovered, and there's probably at like at least 10 different keys which we can collect, and certainly a few events which we've missed out on due to the fact that we... I wonder if Radioactive will be able to light the way, you know, since um, stuff like Uranium glows. Just trying to think ahead. Maybe. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And we shall see each other in the next time of Amlusion. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.